Friday afternoon. We're out here at the uh, the murder mill here in uh, Ashland. Wonderful afternoon. Kind of cold and wet, but we've got our signs. We've got some tracks in the backpack to kind of keep them dry. But well, appreciate your prayers as we're out here today. We'll be out here for a couple hours. So uh, pretty mellow so far. Just a few a few middle fingers and honks, angry honks. Uh, but that's expected, so uh, we're going to be here and uh, proclaiming that abortion is murder. You see here, a couple of the signs. This is the Ashland one, the classic. And then this is the, this is probably, probably the one of the worst ones here. It's really bad. But uh, anyway. This is, uh, this is yes, mocking, God mocking. Uh, this is some of the hardest hearts that you run into in the, in the realm of evangelism, but it's it's a needed work. Uh, definitely not my favorite, but it, it needs to be done. Don't enjoy it, but uh, you know, if we can glorify God out here and lead for the lives of babies and souls of men uh, as we're out here, then glory to God. So. Um, Anyway, hope you all are having a good day. Appreciate your prayers today. God bless you. You know this place murders babies here? You know this place murders babies, don't you? The murderers end up in hell. Yeah, that's pro murder, pro baby murder. That's a nice, soft way to say it. Don't want you to go to hell, ma'am. Trust in Jesus. Don't go to hell in your sins, ma'am. Why the hate? Why support a baby murder place like this? Because it'll send you to hell. You don't want you to go to hell in your sins. You'll, you'll die in your sins and go to hell. We don't want that. Trust in Jesus. Be saved from sin, death, and hell. Don't support this place, this death camp, this Auschwitz of Ashland, this place of baby murder. Murders the most innocent of our of our society for doing what? Nothing. They haven't done anything wrong yet. You're murdering them for money, for convenience, for career, for reputation. But you must repent, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved today. There's no other way to be saved. Turn from your sins today. Be saved. It is. It's hypocrisy. Do you support this place of murder? Yeah, well, do you know you're going to end up in hell if you don't repent of your sins and trust in Jesus, man? You don't know when you're going to die. Because after death comes a judgment. Even you young people, you think you're going to live forever. Well, God knows the days of your death. He knows that instant when you'll breathe your last when your heart quits beating and you end up ushered into eternity in heaven or hell. And as it is, you're headed to hell right now. But you have the opportunity to repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ today. He will wash away your sins and give you a new heart. Not a wicked heart that hates babies and hates women, hates people. But a loving heart that loves people and wants to serve people. But as it is, you're headed to that place of eternal punishment called hell. Repent and believe the gospel today. Don't die in your sins. You'll end up in hell. I don't want that for you. That's good educational for the kids that, that know that abortion is murder. Well, are, 
are you familiar with the Holocaust, what happened there? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't know what was going on and most of the public didn't know. And then they gave them a tour after the after the uh, the Axis forces were conquered by the, the Allied forces. So the Nazis were conquered. They went through the death camps and people were crying and throwing up and they were they didn't realize what had happened, that they were they were murdering Jews, experimenting on them and burning the bodies. Yeah. Yeah, do you realize that? But it was out of sight, out of mind. What's that smoke in the distance? Oh, I don't know. It's Auschwitz or it's Berkowitz or whatever it is. Okay. You realize that? So what we're doing is we're doing public education of what goes on in there because they don't have a video screen that shows them ripping the limbs and, and, and the head off of babies and oh, no, ripping their guts out. Ripping the head and the limbs off of babies? That's what they do. It's very rare, extremely rare. Well, not necessarily. Yeah, it's extremely rare. But you know what? You know what the main the main reason for people murdering their babies is? Tell me. Fornication. That's according to Planned Parenthood. 65% so of babies saying? are murdered because of fornication. That's not even accounting for adultery. Not even counting adultery. I don't know what that number would be, okay, but so it'd be saying? much higher. So you're covering up one sin of fornication with another sin of murder. <laughs> Yeah, true. Fornic you know what fornication is? Let me tell you, it's sex outside of marriage. God ordained sex for his sides of marriage. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. So it'll send you, just that one sin will send you to hell, right? Clearly. But God. No, if you read that and obey the gospel, you'll end up not going to hell, but going to heaven. Wait, hold yeah, on. Yeah. Oh yeah, they need they need to I wish somebody had shown me that when I was a kid, then I'd know that abortion is murder. I didn't realize it until after I became a Christian. Should kids be taught about gay marriage? Oh yeah, they should be taught that it's a sin and it'll send you to hell. Yeah, that's that's disgusting, right? That's disgusting. What's going on? This is I see. I see. Like, no, this is disgusting too. This is horrible. You are this is horrible. This to the public. Yeah, you're doing right. We're, it's you're public education. To the public. So you do support public you, education. Public, public education. Just, yeah, public it. education. This is public education right here. Yeah. 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 But not the, the indoctrination of the uh, uh, human, the humanist, the religion yes, of humanists yes, in the right. in the public schools where they teach kids who are gay, teach them about what do whatever you want sexually. Right, indoctrination yeah. isn't religion, but you're talking about is not indoctrination. We are, we are indoctrinating you with the proper, with the truth. proper, oh, yeah, yeah, true. So Jesus said, Jesus, you remember I what Jesus said? said? He said, I'm the I way, the truth, and care. of course, yeah, but you will when you oh, die, right. yeah. and oh, you end up in really, hell, it'll be too late. Really convenient, really convenient that yeah, it's after that. we die, you have no proof to actually back up anything you're saying, right? It's what the Bible says. Oh, right. What the Bible says. I have God in the Bible. What's your story? That your eyes and, and your ears aren't deceiving you. Your senses How could do be you deceiving. The Bible? Because God revealed it to me. The God who knows everything, you have to have a source of omniscience that knows everything. So you have, you so, have, you have, you've tapped into that. Because your senses right? could always be you, deceiving you've tapped you. Into this omniscience. You understand. Of, of course, that's what the Christian life is about. That's what the Christian worldview. Yeah, yeah. But I'm talking to someone who has the omniscience of God. But I say that to people that you believe in God. you don't admit that is because you love your sin. You love to fornicate, you love whatever. I don't even know what all you do in your private life. You don't really need to know, but I know that you've lied, you've stolen, you've blasphemed God, you've looked with lust, you probably fornicated, I'm guessing. Maybe have you had, have you forced a woman or, or coerced a woman into abortion or even uh, agreed that it was good? Have you done that before? Not just asking, because you seem, you seem like you have a guilty conscience. I do. Yeah. You think I have a guilty conscience? Yeah, but with you standing out here spending your days lying to people? You think you think I'm the one with a guilty conscience? That's How am I really, lying? Really, really sad. Really, really How am I sad. lying? Tell, tell Give me evidence. Tell them they're going to your idea of hell. 
No, they're going with the Bible says it's eternal what conscious your, what torment. Your Bible says. What your Bible says. It's the Bible. It's your Bible. It's, it's, your, it's Bible. Your, it's your What's your Bible. source of truth if you don't believe the Bible then? There are plenty of there are plenty of other sources of truth besides your Bible. Oh, okay. You know there are other well, you know, religions Napoleon, out there, right? Napoleon said something similar, similar. He says, men will believe anything as long as it's not written in the Bible. And I think you're one of those people. You'll believe anything as long as it's not written in the Bible. Because you know what the Bible does? The Bible points to you and says, you, uh -huh. you have lied, you have stolen, you which have fornicated, which you have, which version of the Bible? you have blasphemed God, you've committed times, right? idolatry, which is, really, really which sad. is the main, the main thing really, that you're doing really is committed sad. idolatry. You've made up a God in your own mind that you think oh, is God. I've made up a God yeah, in my yeah. own mind, not you. No, the, the my, actually my source about. of truth is God in the Bible. You remember I told you that? I'll yeah. believe my fake God, you can believe your real God. Yeah. You've well, it's it called idolatry, yeah. 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 yeah, everybody believes in gods, uh, and, and, and they're actually demonic, so... Bigger life beyond your existence, my man. Well, I don't want you to go to hell, man. Trust in Jesus. Be saved. I'll see you there. I, yeah, I, I don't... I hope I hope to see you in heaven. I hope to not be looking down and see you burning in hell. That would be horrible. But that may be what, what's destined for you. here you'll end up going to hell the, the devil and the angels the, the devil and his demons will end up there you'll be tormented forever and ever the beast and the false prophet his God is a holy holy just God he's holy 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 and he will not allow sin in heaven you will be cast into hell for your murder and your hatred and your idolatry, your lies and theft and fornication, all of those things will, will cause you to be thrown into hell forever. But Jesus can save you. Trust in Him. Trust in His finished blood, His work on the cross, His blood shed for sinners. <coughs> repent. Repent today. Believe the gospel. Don't continue on in your sin on your way to hell, murdering babies, fornicating, and lying, and feeding, and blaspheming God. 
trust in Jesus today and be saved from hell. Participate that, and then all you have to do is agree that it's okay to murder babies, and you're, you become a murderer. Do you realize I don't that? Agree with that? Yeah, all you have to do is like, like, same with lust. All you have to do is look with lust, and you commit an adultery in your heart. Have you ever done that? Do what? Look with lust. Have you ever looked with lust? So then you're an adulterer of heart. Yeah, yeah. None of us are perfect. Yeah. Well, you have to be perfect to get into heaven. So Jesus. You have to repent. Yeah, turn from your sins. Yeah. Turn from your sins. Yeah. And you do that. Yeah. That's not biblical either. That's yeah, that's is. actually uh, uh, demonic incantation that people use. Life. Millions of people have right. been led astray by that All and right. are on their way to hell. We don't want you to go to hell, sir. You gotta be born again. Trust, repent and trust in Jesus today, sir.